we're here in Huxley, Iowa today uh, to demonstrate on a four-wheel drive tractor uh, maybe some of those anomalies that we see with, uh, with ride disturbance. And uh, we have one of our Grizz squad members here, Ryan Bales, who's going to uh, true up the tire. He, in essence, he's going to match high spot, low spot, and he's going to be able to diagnose that issue and correct it. So you'll be able to see that firsthand. And the driver or the rider of that tractor will be able to feel it as well. The reason for a, uh, a road lope or an uneven ride would be your tire and wheel assembly being unbalanced or off, off adjustment. What we do is uh, part of the grist, grist squad is go out there, uh, do a run out on the tractor itself, um, match up the high and low spot of the rim. Uh, if it needs adjusted, we'll adjust it right there on site. Uh, and then eventually, or optimally, the tractor rider is going to notice a big difference at the end of this process. So, The tire run out machine is actually an identical machine to what we use in the factories. We just made it smaller and portable to, for any high speed tractor applications. The, the laser actually measures 500 uh, data pods per revolution. So every 360 degrees it measures 5,000 5, spots of the tire. And then once you get 360 degrees it stops and tells you where your, what your TIR is, your total indicated run out. And that's, that's how you get your, uh, your high and low spots as well. Right now it's measuring uh, every lug and in between the lugs all the way around to a 360 degree point. Okay, then we'll do the rim. Well, the TIR on that one was 0.4 something. So that's, you know, you want to get as close to 0.157 as you can get. So once he rotates that 180 degrees, it's gonna be that much better of a ride. Right there, okay, we're good. Okay, right now we just went ahead and set the high, match the high and low spot up. So we're going to go ahead and inflate the tire, and the left side is done. We'll be done after that. Uh, well, the biggest problem I noticed today was probably the air pressure being over 30 psi. Yeah, this tractor is not near heavy enough to need that kind of psi on it. So uh, the left side was 180 degrees off, so that that'll be a big play in this too. So we'll uh, air this side up and see where we're at from here. After the readjustment, we uh, got up to about 20 and the customer was just tickled. Uh, ended up getting up to 26 miles an hour and it's a, he said it was the fastest he's ever had that tractor going at a nice comfortable speed. So.